David, disappointment today, but if those two chances go in early on oh. in the game, it's a, it's a different match, isn't it? Yeah, listen, we've had two glorious chances. We've had three counter-attacks in the first eight minutes that's not resulted in even a shot at goal that should have been. Curtis has got brought down, nicking a ball, going into the box. Red card, 100%. But listen, that's games reflective of our season. We should have been four up before they even had a shot at our goal, never mind scored. That's the difference. That's the difference. I thought we controlled the game by and large for large, large periods. But the difference ends up in both boxes. And if you don't take your chances, you're susceptible to a sucker punch. And that's exactly what happened. You know, we we should have been coming in at least 2-0 up at half time. We end up 2-0 down. And that sort of sums up our season, really. The chance for Cam, obviously on his full debut, I felt so sorry for him because it just bobbled up just as he was about to hit it. Listen, is the fact that he was there to, 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 to take the chance is a terrific... Thing. I thought he was good. Listen, he's had a good game. He's on the pitch for all the game, 90 odd minutes. It's probably come a bit too early in the game for him. You know, if it had come 15, 20 minutes in rather than six minutes in, seven minutes in, it might have been a bit different. But like I say, he's bobbled up, sits his shin, and he's gone over the bar. But look, there's no um, fault or anything like that lies at that lad's door. He's, he's had a good game. For a debut, he should be proud of his performance. And again, we've seen a team, they've ended up being in the playoffs, cruelly, but we've taken the game to them. And like you say, we've had so many chances, it should have been ahead. Yeah, look, that, that, and yes, you're right, you, I agree with you, but I also disagree with the fact that we didn't have enough quality when it mattered. And that's the difference. You know, the good thing is we can hopefully rectify that in the summer. And for the first two thirds of the game, we were by, by far the better team and against the team who was getting the playoffs. You know, we beat a team in crew. We went from home a few weeks ago by doing that, but scoring the goals. Today we didn't manage to do that and we've paid the paid the price for it. Slight formation switch as well at the back. Is that is that a little yeah. glimpse into next season, maybe? Um possibly. We're not sure. Um what what I would say is formations aren't it's it's more principles. You know, you, we controlled the game today with one less defender in theory. Uh, five you know, to a four. We control had much more control of the game. We've then got to create deliberate chances off the back of it. Now we did for the first 20 minutes, or after certainly after the first five minutes where it was a bit frantic. Then we created numerous chances and had numerous opportunities to create chances, but we didn't. We had two glorious chances. So and then second half we didn't. We penned them in, but we didn't really create anything. You know, it followed a similar pattern to last week. Um, without conceding the goals until we bring Callum Haley on and Jamie Andrews and, and Denver last week. So we need a bit of creativity and a bit of, bit of X factor. And if we, if we bring you know, a few of them players in, then we've got a great chance of not repeating this season. Another player also came in for his first start, Evan Corey as well. So how do you feel he got into that? Uh, listen, he did fine. He did fine. I, I, when, when you come into a game like this, they've got everything to play for. We've got very little, but we've always got professional pride, professionalism, all the rest of it. I thought we'd give them a right good goal. We were the better team by and large. We, um, we fizzled out to, as the game went on, but we should have been four up in the first 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And Ev did fine. Ev, Ev, was, Ev was fine. As the team as a whole were fine. It's just that last little bit. And we've been like that for a while, you know. I've been saying we're going we're to give someone a right tonking because all the chances will go in. They will all fall on one game. Today wasn't it. <laughs> you know, it's, and we've got to become much better at that. It's a big area for improvement for us. But, you know, Ev was, Ev was fine and steady and he probably ran out a little bit of legs. You know, one, or two, one or two others did. Um, but listen, that is, he's got to keep going. He's got to rest up and he's got to come back in real good shape to, to knock on the door in the first team next year. I think for a lot of fans today, it was quite nice not having the pressure <coughs> of having to come here and get a result, having already done it last week. Yeah, of course, look, it, it has been a much more relaxed week psychologically. There's no getting around that fact. Um, you know, the first part of the week was, has been tough personally, um, but the fact that we had to come here and not um, have to worry about other results. I haven't seen one of the result. I presume they're in the playoffs because of what happened at the end. Um, yeah, it was good not having to have someone tell me the scores. 
and I, th and I thought we learned a lot about our team today, both individually, you know, your Evs, your Cams, others, but also as a team, I thought that, that reflected us as a team this season. Okay, every now and again susceptible to a chance. You know, I can't actually remember them having another chance, but they didn't need to because we, we allowed them to score, truth be told. But also, we didn't take our chances and goal change games. So then they kept us at arm's length and we didn't have the creativity to break us down. So we, we knew that before today. Today is just another reflection of that, really. So what happens now? What's the diary look like for the next <laughs> week or so? Meetings Monday morning with, with others, then meetings with the players Monday afternoon. Retained list will be released Monday evening, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. I'm not sure the, the club's media guys, you guys will be in charge of that. Um, I've got, I'm in London on Friday, then I'm off somewhere the week after, a couple of places the week after to watch games. So, you know, yeah, it's, it doesn't stop. You know, I've got meetings all all the time. and I've got a meeting Monday um, with a player. So yeah, we've got to we've got to make sure we improve on on what we've got. And a final message for the fans today: over 600 today for a team <coughs> towards the bottom of League Two uh, with nothing to play for. It's incredible. I, I, was, I spoke to the lads before the, the game and I said, "Look, you, you don't know how lucky you are. You know, most League Two teams now going out last game of the season with nothing to play for. There'd be 60 fans. We've got 600 odd fans coming. It's unbelievable." Absolutely unbelievable. Unfortunately, we couldn't give them much to cheer about. But I think that they can see where we're going to go, how we're going to go. Um, we've had to play differently. We've had to. We'll retain some of that. But we've also got to, you know, Crawley have got in the in the playoffs by playing football, and we've got to give all them fans much more moments to cheer about because they deserve it. It's an outstanding effort. Outstanding effort, you know, 214 miles from home. It's, it's an unbelievable effort, and the, you know, I hope they, I hope they renew their season tickets because I'm hoping for a much more exciting season next year. Cheers, David. Thank you. Thank you.